holiday season with a delicious homemade pumpkin soup that's easy to make. That's the best part. And here to show us how to make it is Tinky Weisblatt. She's the author of TinkyCooks.com and you're decked out. Tinky's decked out. Well, her home and on its way. Spirit. <laughs> I love the glasses, but can I stop you for a second? Can I see that spatula you have there? Yeah. Oh, is, is this not cute? Yes, no, I No, no, it is. It's too cute. That's what I want to show everybody. It Look makes at her spatula. me feel like I'm not festive enough. I think it's adorable. I know. I have this to say, very, very cool. it's not perfect for something like pancakes when you really have to scoop. That's but true. But for, for soup, it's fabulous. So we're making this soup. Yes. Now, right now, what are you You're sauteing onions I'm sauteing and... I'm sauteing onions and lots of mushrooms. And you can use any mushroom you like if you go to the farmer's market and find really wonderful fresh mushrooms. But but mushrooms will do from the grocery store. What you want to do is get something, because that's all my general store has. <laughs> and they're very nice, so we like them. But uh, you want it, they give texture to the whole thing. Because the, the squash is obviously all pre-mushed. So we've got this pretty well going, and you can see it's juicing up nicely. Hold my spatula, please. It is please. juicing up nicely. I'll hold nicely. the spatula all day long. And we're going to throw it. in a couple of teaspoons of curry powder smell. Curry. Oh, that smells much more potent that than your normal. Uh, Ooh, that's so much. color, too, right? Isn't it pretty? Well, it's brand new, and you know how those things are with spices. You want to use as new as possible because they wear out so quickly. Somebody told me once that the spices that people buy in stores have been sitting sometimes in crates for a couple of years, you know, like at mm -hmm. a seaport, just waiting for people to eat them and bottle them. Wow, and then right? just I didn't know that. Think about that. A teensy bit of nutmeg, and you can, again, grate it straight off your nutmeg. I couldn't find my grater this morning, so we're... <laughs> We're going with the ground up make, but again, very aromatic and fresh. So. Oh, that smells great. Yeah. You know what I love that you're doing? Uh, you're very deliberately measuring everything. Well, that's going <laughs> to stop soon. <laughs> and then you mix all that together. And you mix all that together so that the spices get kind of mixed into everything. And then we need just a little bit of honey. Here honey. We are. honey I open think this it's, guy. Well, oh, there it's, it is. You know what you say to that? Hey, honey. Hey, honey. <laughs> that was, and my honey is a little bit full of jokes. congealed or whatever you call it, but it doesn't matter because it's all going to melt in here. Yeah. And so is that just a temperature thing? Like if you're driving it over this morning in the car, it well, just no, gets harder? Is, it sits around, it loses liquid, it evaporates, but oh. you can just nuke it oh. and it comes back right away. But I didn't do that because I would have to take the metal off this thing. That's true. But that it's looks so like nice fresh honey. The thing about the honey is it just gives it a little, mm. it's not much much honey, but it gives it a little more dimension. Mm -hmm. The woman it's who gave me this, me this recipe has bees. Her name's Polly Bartlett. She lives in Shelburne Falls. Hello, Polly. Hey, Polly. Hi, Polly. And then we are going to add our squash. Now, it's supposed to be pumpkin, but I had a mix. This is a mixture. Ooh, it kind of defrosted. That's all right. Delicata and... Um, What's that? Butternut. Butternut squash. Any winter squash. If you want to use pumpkin, that's great. If you want it to be very orange, you buy the canned pumpkin because that's the orangest pumpkin. No, no, but no, it's no. not as fresh. Here's my question, though. If you're deciding that you want to use pumpkin, what part of the pumpkin do you use? How does that work? You want to go to your farm mm -hmm. and ask for a sweet pumpkin. Most of the pumpkins that we have in farm stands now are really jack-o'-lantern pumpkins. Mm -hmm. They don't taste great. The seeds are fine for toasting, and, and you could put seeds on top of this. I didn't bring any, but that would be very yeah. cute and festive. But you want to ask for a, a sugar pumpkin, or it's going to be probably a smaller pumpkin. And, and then, the, is it the flesh? Do you the eat flesh. the skin? Yes. Okay. You don't eat, oh. I don't eat the skin. So you peel like an apple, maybe? Um, I usually you cook it first and then peel. Huh. Because like, a, well, like squash. The like same thing as squash, squash, because those they just come off so much more easily once they're cooked. Mm -hmm. It's just a whole different animal. Okay, then we are going to, but we're not really going to because we're moving on. No, this is a TV magic <laughs> moment. Yes, exactly. We're, having we're gonna add chicken stock, but Blech. no one's got I, time for that. Once you've done that, I spilled exactly. your chicken stock. Okay, now here's our <laughs> final product. I'll just get this. I don't know, way over there. Yeah, I'll move it over here. This so looks this good is what happens top. after it cooks for 20 minutes, something like that. It gets. You, mm. you see, the color is more. Well, it's the curry powder. It's, it's a yeah. little greenish. Curry powder but turns everything And it's still got these powder. beautiful little lumps because you don't want it to be all smooth. It's so you're not emulsifying texture. it or anything like nope. that? Nope. It's, but I did cut the mushrooms quite small. Yeah. And then we add just a little bit of half and half. You can add up to two cups, but I don't think it needs that much. Well, and a lot of times, oh. too, with the squash, it's, it's uh, bulky enough that you don't need it. Yes? I forgot that we were supposed to add salt and pepper to that. So just if when you're, you're doing it at home. At home, add salt and pepper. Yeah. So uh, there is salt and, and pepper in here. We're going to add a little half and half, and then we're going to have it after we mix our green sauce. Now, I know this is so complicated, but it's really easy. Okay, I'll take your word <laughs> okay, for it. Okay, green sauce bad. is yogurt. 
Yogurt. We've got it right over there. With scallions already in it. Scallions we already in it. Now this is my herb chopping technique. You get a little juice glass. You get your kitchen scissors, which are clean and delicious and wonderful. <laughs> and we're gonna just... Use chopping in the glass? Chop in the glass and it means that everything is in there and it doesn't have a chance to escape from you. You're a genius. This is This genius. was taught to me by a French film director. Are you impressed? <laughs> I now, am, that's so fair. I want to say that. Uh, yeah. I wish anything could have been taught to me by a French film director. Yeah, so, you know, he was like making some for a little vinaigrette salad. He says, oh, we need some parsley. So we, then we just <laughs> then we just put it in. Okay, you know what? We would ordinarily chop this more, but we're just throwing it in because yeah. we want you to taste it. What kind? Wow, that's nice. I know, I kind of might have overdone it. No, oh, no way. I'm going to mix this up. What kind of yogurt is this? This is Greek. Any yogurt I would like to use, but I couldn't find it today. This is the yogurt from my own town, Holly, which is Side Hill Farm, which is really good yogurt. Huh. So let us have the return of the mini cocotte, please. That's this, right? That is uh -huh. the okay. And this is, these are brand new. And this is my mother's 50-year-old Le Creuset pot. Well, they look pretty similar. They are very, well, they make the same pot. But I'm just at 50 years later, it still stands up well. 50 years later, it still stands up well. Ladle, please. Ladle, ladle please. Like ladle, surgeon. there you go. Thank you. I know you guys are my little ticket. We should all be wearing masks. <laughs> there we go. A little go. soup. Look then we put a, and the just a nice dab too. of green sauce on oh, that, please. This is on. And I'm going to get spoons. Lunch. And this the is best very, birthday lunch I think, ever. You know, because most of this is cooked in advance. If you wanted to have it sort of sitting on the stove while you were doing, said, handing out little treats on Halloween. And this, oh, right. And this we is, can fill another one or you can just share. We'll, we'll, share, we'll share. share for now. Seth, that, that's your birthday lunch. Yeah, you know what? It's Tinky, mine. It's thanks birthday. for sharing. Oh, my we're pleasure. not done yet. Mm. We're going to be making spider web whoopie pies later in the show. So stay tuned. We're celebrating Seth's birthday all show long. You bet. <laughs>